I I don't know if this is if this is mean or something, but I feel like I feel like that's possibly lush. <laughs> a ninja story. I'll just play it. Hey, a ninja story. Wait, ninja story. A sweet and sour tale. What? He's uh, he's pinned to me. So my understanding of this, and most of you are probably in the loop with all this. It's just this is just regular platforming. I like this. Um, is that, you know, Sweet and Sour is a game that exists, and it's a Kaizo hack, and it's kind of hard. And this is kind of the, you know, a cut-down sort of version. Ninji has arrived in Sweet and Sour world. He must save his friends and return peace to the coastland. So it's supposed to be a version that's more accessible to, um, to people of all skill levels. Possibly. Uh, I guess, no, a better, the better way to describe that would be it's more beginner-friendly. Um, let's see if that's true. I'll go back to Ninji House. I should have a look at it all. Also, it looks like Ninji has a bow in their hair. I didn't notice that previously. It's a spin-off that couldn't afford the main cast. <laughs> oh, dear. This hack can be beat in many ways. Go smash it. Start plus select to leave any level. This box has no purpose. Want your time back? Search Lush underscore 50 at Twitch TV. Uh, escaping Subcon. So this will be the purple level, right? Oh, it's not so purple anymore. Small platforms behave differently. Go, Ninji, go. A rough day. Oi, I can't jump. Let's have a look at that again. Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck there. All right. A rough day. I, I don't understand that reference, but that's that's totally fine. Okay, already already doing a lot of a lot of dying. Hack not beginner friendly confirmed. All right, I guess I just go over straight over to the right. And really having a blast. So I, I'm, I don't blame him at all. Oh, what? Understood. Get the thing, do the throw, do the spin, and then... There we go, alright. Not sure what I did wrong last time. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Beating Invictus makes you... No, tr I still want to sit at the kids' table and eat the nuggets, alright? It's... <laughs> can't force me to you can't force me to eat your um the good thing about being an adult is that you can enjoy a casserole and you can also choose to eat the chicken nuggets if you want all right there there is some stuff in here that I feel like might be tricky for for someone Nice. This might be good, yeah. So, I think this is this is probably like a quickie two thing. Day stream, you've yeah. I'm sorry. Day stream on a Monday is incompatible with people that actually have a life. Um, but I just wanted to play some stuff. You know, I finish off Hark Bros, and then I jump in and play this fun little. I guess what's referred to as a beginner hack. Um, support my good friend Lush underscore fifty. Cool dude from South Australia, I believe. Pain in the grass. Oh. oh, is this PG still? This pink goo looks bad. Best avoid it. I don't know, it looks pretty good. You have no idea what defines a casserole. I'm not sure either. It's a collection of meat and vegetables in a thick, sort of, you know, a thicker than a soup. It's sort of like a stew, I guess. I don't, 
I don't actually know now I'm thinking about it. That section could be quite tricky. That could be quite tricky. Yosh. Oh. Well, I assume that we need to continue having Yoshi. <laughs> can't have Yoshi. Yoshi's done for. Later, dude. Oh. Uh. Awkward. Yeah, see, that's, that's really tight and weird. I'm dead. Very, very dead. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Alright, this is what we do. This is how you... That's how you meant to do it except slightly better, which is going to be kind of difficult. No, not like that. You like to think the protagonist in this game is the final boss of Hark 2, but this one is pink and has a bow in their hair, so... It could be. Just chilling before you need to get the kids. So, uh, yeah, I've got, um... Know what you? I know that feeling. School is out in a little bit. There we go. That's got to be it. Yeah. Dude. Yo, uplifter. How? I don't know how you're supposed to beat that. But we beat it in that particular way. Uh, Montego Bay. Yeah, it's like uh, it's about 1:30 p.m. I think I, oh, hey, look, shells. There's shell tricks in this hack. I shouldn't be surprised, but we can make it look normal-ish. <laughs> three, one, two, three. I'm gonna get nerded by these fish. No, okay, they only come up in one spot, don't they? There we go. And a pipe. I spy a pipe. Ye old. Oh, oh, here we go. Ye old DRK. Filters. Black and white. There we go. Oh, I look pretty good in black and white. It really, it really gets rid of all the all the nastiness. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of one of those. Uh, classic sort of black and white sort of people. Black and white looks good. Now, because this is a secret exit, maybe it's okay if the difficulty is scaled up a bit. Oh. Oh, you usually only see when the sun's rising. Yeah, I know. It's, I have an unfortunate time zone. Um, the only Americans I really get to talk to are the people that are neglecting um, their life. <laughs> Just put it in the nicest possible way. They uh, they work to a different schedule than than most, and that's that's a good thing. I get to see I get to see all my uh, stay up late, wake up late sort of folk. Got him! I got got. I did. I was uh, I was bamboozled and uh, coaxed into a snafu by the the want to put the key in the hole blocked. Uh, I'll play the secret exit. I remember this one. This was the first Switch Palace in Sweet and Sour, and it had a lot of Layer 2 stuff. And don't use. Yeah, alright. <laughs> I definitely won't use the pipe. We'll take this through the pipe that we won't use as well. Revenge. Oh, Yoshi. Yoshi revenged me. Oh, right. Yeah, I know. It did. Wait, you, you get up a little before dawn to coffee, wake up a little before work. Understood. All right. But I, I won't be able to help you with the um with the Sonic song, like which one it's it might sound like, or it just has the vibe of it. Because the lead instrument is very vocal-like. Oh. 
Oh, I don't think you can go down that pipe, hey? <laughs> I think I was bamboozled again. But I believe you. You've got a bunch of Sonic emotes. Or Sonic-esque emotes. I think if there's anyone in this chat that's going to know what's going on, it's you. Okay. That's the one. <laughs> I was fooled. What do we got here? A red switch? Oh, wow. Slam! This block has now changed from a dotted outline into a solid block with an exclamation point on it. Nice! So we did the secret exit of the uh, water level thing. Okay, so I went up that pipe. I think that was what led me down the wrong path. Oh. What's the point of having it go vertical? Oh, the bat. That's sort of a weird bucket, this one. I'll do it from further back. And then it lines up closer to with what I would expect. There we go. So now we can hang about here. What? What happened to the sequence? There we go. A checkpoint has been acquired. Uh, what's that do? Oh, right. You know, it's fine. You just this this is my ex my chance to experience it and see what the big deal is. Because I think I think I could I could give you the exact same complaints that everyone else has, and that's that Super Mario 3D World. It's it's not one of those uh, you know open world style ones like in Mario 64. It's it's sort of this weird halfway between kind of your, your 2D stuff where you've kind of fixed on one plane and the 3D stuff. And I understand why that had to be that way. It's because they wanted to have that sort of multiplayer thing and you can't really do that in the context of something like, uh, like you saw how they did multiplayer on Odyssey. It was trash. It was just, hey, you get to control the hat. Um, it's, it's perfect for that kind of bunch of people on a couch all playing together. Um, but I, I think maybe I initially dismissed it because of that. Um, but I have played like the first, you know, world or two. Seems It seems okay. I'm sure it gets difficult and maybe that's when it's going to get interesting. Uh, Titanic. It's a worst 3D Mario game. It's still not bad. It's a, it's a big call. Although I don't... What about those people that think Sunshine is the worst? Bowser's Fury stuff. Yeah. I haven't seen much of it, but it looks like it's more in line with like an Odyssey style experience. Which I, I really enjoyed Odyssey. I don't know if there's people that don't agree with that or they didn't like Odyssey or something. Saw. I've seen like a, the trailer thing. Uh, it kind of, it made me think of that, um, that one... Was it Seaside Kingdom? <laughs> it's a lot of water and some islands and stuff. I don't know if that's representative of what's going on in the actual game. Pipe? Sunshine was one of your favourites. I have not played it. Look out below! <laughs> I played a little bit of Sunshine, but I, I really didn't... Um, yeah, I wasn't a GameCube guy. I didn't own a GameCube. I still don't own a GameCube, but I have played it on the Wii with a GameCube controller. I'm sure that's about as good as it gets, right? What do you do here? Obviously not what I just did. That guy's elevated. Right. Oh, it, it's... I'm so clever. Yeah, Disco Shell. I know. <laughs> it, it all kind of triggered in a... <laughs> The second I died, I was like, oh yeah, by the way, Disco Show. <laughs> Why not? I... Sometimes I can't explain what I do. Okay. Okay, we put 
the shell down, we transform. I'll let the I'll let the urchin ascend. I mean, pff, great, cool winged block. I maybe it could have been useful. Oh god, what is that? Side, <laughs> just this sideways floating thing. Oh, there was another one. And that is quite a goal post. Can I get like a hundred out of that one? <laughs> yeah, it was it was a simple disco shell. Alright, we're we're going back to colour real quick. Booze keep. This has been fun. I've enjoyed some simple platforming. Got to try the, all the pipes. Dad. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Booze keep some. What what do they keep? Oh, I remember this level. This one was hard. I think there was like just a couple of particular jumps off the moving platform that really got me. Looks like the moving platform isn't uh, isn't continuing through the entire level. Oh, here we go. Oh wow! Okay, I didn't realize it was going to be a uh, smash the Y button as fast as you can section. The first fraction of a second after pressing B. <laughs> That's uh, I would not want to live in that kind of world. Okay, so this is the smash the Y button. Right. Hey! Um, I, for, people forget how hard it was to learn. I know, and that's... It's, it's definitely something. Like, I, I don't know how people manage to make hacks that are beginner-friendly when they themselves are experienced. Because you really forget all that sort of stuff. I, f I forgot those were going to disappear. That's sort of weird that there's a gap there. And the second I threw the last thing, I was like, oh, hang on. These platforms are not safe. <laughs> Alright, so we just uh, we do the last throw when we're on the right-hand side. It'll be fine. That's why you made your beginner hack as a beginner, I know. Yeah, you're, you're such a beginner. There we go. Yay! That was a fun boo fight. We got to we got to kill Lush. I mean that makes sense. What? I rescued a ninja friend. Huh? Thanks for saving me. I hope you can return peace to this crazy island. Hey hey! Are you ready? You ever play Crazy Taxi? Well, I played Crazy Taxi. A little bit, never on console. Uh, it's on. Uh, it's on a bunch of consoles. <clears throat> it's on. Uh, it's on the PS2. It's on GameCube. It's on Dreamcast. Dreamcast version's good. If you if you ever come across a Dreamcast, um, Crazy Taxi Two exists, and it's weird. There's a way that you can just you can jump. The car can you can just pop yourself up into the air. It's pretty cool. Uh, Bubblegum Mountain. I know this song. Uh, okay, I think I keep the key. Um, my one's a bit tight. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to like be throwing shade or anything. But the more I play this, the more I think, man, maybe I would have trouble with this as a beginner. Oi! Where's my key, mate? Key? Oh, wow. You ever play, um... You ever play games on a PC back in the olden days and they had an option for CGA graphics? <laughs> That's what this level is. Is when you... You select a CGA graphics mode. 
the, uh, there's, a, there's a handful of colors in how that game, uh, the sequence of events. And it was pretty cool. The, um, there was a boat level that had really cool water effects. I'd like to be able to tell you what the name of the hack was, but I don't know it. As we hold left, and then... Man, that is tight. Sort of tight. Oh, and they explode. They explode. Have a key. That platform will explode. You saw it on SMW Central this morning. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty new, I guess. Uh, I keep forgetting how this section works. All right. All right. I don't know if that explodes. It probably explodes. I think if you stand, if you're not on the very right hand side of it, then it probably blows up for real. Oh, hey, Seth. Seth, I saw you did a run of this and your run would have been over several minutes ago. I'm playing it for the very first time and it's pretty, it's pretty chill. I, uh, the good thing is I played Sweet and Sour like within the last couple of months. So I still remember a bunch of these levels and sort of what they used to be before they got, um, I'm not going to say nerfed, but sort of translated into something that's more beginner friendly, I suppose. I think there's actually some, someone mentioned to me, I think it was Far actually, he mentioned that he wanted to use Yoshi Sprite, but it didn't have a, one of the animations that he required. It didn't have little Mario doing the, um, doing the fence punch. Which you'd think would not be that common, but, you know, it came up. Just a lot of copy-paste. Right, right. Uh, that's interesting. They kind of die there. Clever. Yeah, easy for experts does not equal beginner. That's true. But that's really hard to sort of take off your sort of unlearn something because I oh, I see that was the troll there right. um, I I re-grab all the time I can't not re-grab that's why I had so much uh, difficulty with the double jump levels in Invictus and Dance to a Discordant System it's because I'm always trying to re-grab and stuff just feathering the jump button in the air because I feel like I need to fall faster and slower and stuff. Rotting runes. That's a, that's a jump. I think I remember this one too. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I, I have... I have checked a bunch of pipes. The last one I checked was the little... the dino rhino, the baby dino rhino, whatever it's called. I was like, Dad! And then the big one sort of lands on your head. Man, look at that. Look at this jump here. Here we go. Oh, I don't think I've ever had to do one like that. And then you have to go straight away on that. Oh, look at look at this. I know it for real now. You just go straight through the note block. So that's not an option. It really is just... Uh-huh. Two short hops. You got it. Oh, I thought this was going to be one of those cool things. One of those, uh... What do you call them? Troll room things. It's so easy when you're the viewer. Yeah, I, I would have been there for a while. And I definitely wouldn't have done it that way ever. Hey, we've got the green switch. It's called Saturday. Uh-huh, the, uh, the disco thing. The one where you kick it and it turns into, it disco fires the shell. Does it feel like the disco shell has a, a low maximum speed? Or is that how fast they usually go? Oh. 
There we go. Oh, okay. And there's no... I, I do remember there was a turn block there. There is no turn block this time. So I think the trick is you just got to go fast. And then you can squeeze in there. Oh, wow. It made you do a disco show jump at the start, right? Am I going to need that? No. You win! With the power of dance, you have now turned a dotted outline block into a solid block with an exclamation point on it. Not bad for a rookie. Yeah, not bad. That one's going to be hard. I feel like if... If you haven't uh, really got your head around the disco shell thing. I think there was like 20-something exits, right? Like 27 or something? Oh, that's right. We've got to play this level again. I accidentally secret exited. Aha, uh -huh, I remember this part. Oh, this sucked. The original level hurt me a lot. 27 to 100, 16 for any. All right. What is that brown note block? I might be judging this a little bit too harshly. Oi. Aha. <gasps> uh -huh. Okay, I see why those note blocks are there. They uh, trend, they change your jump from a spin into a normal. So you, you don't want to touch those. And don't go on the note block. Throw that. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, well, maybe we hit the same one. <laughs> Here's hoping. I'll just play the section again. I won't even think about the block. It's not even going to be in my head at all. I'm not even thinking about it whatsoever. <laughs> Alright, done. I do, still don't know where it is, I forgot. What was that? Oh! Uh... <laughs> the old, uh, pipe on the wrong layer. Curious. Don't think I've ever seen that. That's sort of weird. Forever Forest. Here we go. Bubbles can be killed. Also, they can be sort of fun to bounce on. Yeah. Sort of indeed. It's only there because of the slope. Aha. Uh -huh. I remember this level. Where's the hilarious fast moving... Uh, troll bubbles. Oh no. Uh, sweet and sour game as well. It was kind of, it was kind of tricky that one. Alright, that's kind of cool. I guess the bubble would have killed me if I was slow on that one. Uh, alright, okay. Well, um, these are not... Uh, what's the occasion? The occasion is I had some time. I had some time in the middle of the day, and I had the itch to finish off Hark Bros 2, because last night I finished off with... Oh, no, not last night. Last time I played, which was on Friday night, I was kind of left in a cliffhanger with this sort of puzzle. It was a puzzle at the end to get to the uh, final boss. Um, and so I just, I had some time, I just jumped in and was like, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to finish off Hark Bros 2. And then it didn't take too long, so I thought, maybe I'll, maybe I'll play this one. Oi. Okay, well, there you go. That's a, that's a goal post. Is that, that's an end? So yeah, then I thought, oh, uh, Lush's new hack came out where it's kind of a, a beginner targeted version of Sweet and Sour. It's like a remix of Sweet and Sour. And there's a fun beginner, cute sort of version of it. Legend has it, there is a golden boo residing in this city. Ninji wants it for some reason. Hmm. Chainsaw Massacre. Cool secret pipe. 
Uh, yeah, what are you up to? I know it's it's normal hours for you. Uh, I'm talking to you, uh, Mark. <laughs> I should preface. I should preface that with the person I'm talking to. It's the level where you lost most of your time. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> it's this one. Alright, so that has to be fast. That's gonna be a fast one. Ah, I remember this. The trick here is that you don't land on the green bean. Or you lose your spring. Ah, River City Ransom. Good choice. Good choice. That's, uh, the thing I, I want to know more about River City Ransom because I don't know what any of the items in the shop are, like what they do. So I, I might need to look up a strategy guide for it or something, because I have no idea. Or maybe I could see if there's a manual available, or, available for it or something. Because I've always just been like, eh, I have no idea. A golden boo. Is that a good idea? Ah, uh, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I thought I was getting trolled by that, but there is an invisible floor. 